And we are live. Howdy, Woo! folks. We got a different look today, but I think it's a good one. How is everybody doing today? Yeah, we're all up close and personal. I know. Should I change this? Uh, let me see. How do people like this? I, I don't. I'm not saying that I mind it. I was just making Let's a Let's see here. <laughs> How do you, okay, I think that's better. Is that good right there? Yep. All right, cool, 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 cool. I'm doing shipping, so you'll see my boxes and stuff thrown around. That, nice. You're working. That's all that matters. I am not working. So. <laughs> You're not working? That defeats the working. purpose. Leroy has been in a non listing mood. Yeah, no, usually Monday is like my recoup so I can do my um, shipping and I will be getting some listing done, but that probably won't be until like 3 30, 4 o'clock. Like after the nap? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> after the midday nap? <laughs> What's going on, Paul? How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Paul. Good morning. You, I just saw Paul over on Johnny's channel, and he uh, he gave a uh, he gave you guys a shout out. So, oh, nice. Oh, nice. thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I um, I've been seeing a lot of um the regulars just all over the place. It's exciting to see. I've seen you all over the place. I've seen Ella all over the place. Oh and it's goodness. exciting to oh. see people grow, like even myself, but I don't care about me. I care about you guys. So Well, I've had a I've had a couple conversations with people and I am gonna definitely be lurking a lot more because it's not it's not maintainable to be as active, I think, as I've been. Yeah. So nope. there's it's days tiring. it's it's tiring and there's days where so what I started doing was we cut the show down to like two hours, two and a half hours, because it was so much longer and it was so many days. So now what it is, is this is actually my break. Because I'm up every morning at like seven anyway. So it's already 11 o'clock. So this is my break, a couple hours, and then I go balls to the wall until I go home at like eight o'clock. Yeah. Okay. yeah we, used to, we used to do this like, let's see, it was 6 a.m. my time. And for the last three, two or three weeks, we did it. We did it five days straight. And I think we even did, like, Leroy is doing another show. And then I was doing another one, too. So it was, like, six or seven. And it was, like, three hours a day. And it was just, like, this is not mm. fun anymore. Yeah. yeah. My yeah. main focus right now is is to get ten listings done a day. It doesn't sound like a lot for most people. But for me, it's enough. Because I... I am full time at this, but I all, I'm a full time reseller, but not a full time eBayer. If that makes any sense. Yeah, 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 definitely. No, that makes sense. Yeah. Because actually, yeah. I'll oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, you go, Mom. No, I was gonna say I do because what I did with my eBay is I because I wanted to I was uh, depending too much on eBay, so I switched it around. I do three day shipping now, so that way I have leeway to go in. Because I do a little bit, well, I shouldn't say do Bonanza too. Bonanza, everyone should be doing. You should be on there. Because that is eBay, basically. But then Amazon, and then um, I'm looking at cross-listing again. Everyone's talking about it. I cross-listed years ago. I haven't done it in probably two years. Um, do you, do you cross-list at all, Jen? I do. Um, I've actually just been starting to slow down on it, though. Um, the list perfectly, or yeah, I have list perfectly, but I don't have the premier option or whatever it is. Where I know there's an option that if you do the the listings in the app, then if you delete the listing out of the app, it'll delete it from all of your cross listed areas. I yeah. might try that. Because right now the the problem with cross listing is how time consuming it is to remove items from every platform, and so I started just like picking and choosing certain items, but then I forget which item is on which platform, so I'm still searching through all of them anyway. But yeah. I think I think if I did, if it might be beneficial to do the list perfectly and just do the listings on their site, and then list them to all of my other platforms. If it is true that it was her cat was doing, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, 
I, I heard that too because yeah. the way I used to do it was eBay was the base and it would shoot out to everybody else. So yeah. I guess I'd have to change that up and make list perfectly the base. Um, okay, I, I, I've, I've just got to do it. I had a subscription for I think two years ago first because I was I was faster manually doing it. So I think if you we'll don't see. have a subscription anymore and you like you want to get another one, I think you can still try to use like a discount code or something to re-sign up like for your I first can. month. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they have that. That wasn't so much my worry is that I, yeah. I, I, even if it's a dollar, if I'm not using it, I feel stupid. And I have a tendency to sign up for things and then forget about them. <laughs> so, I, yep. I, I, I want to say, I want to say, Go hello. Ahead, sorry. I want to say hello to Julian. What's going on, sir? Hopefully you're back in the, in the run of things. I want to say what's going on to Paul from Philly Flippa. He does have a afternoon show. Um, if you guys haven't checked that out, um, and I think that's it so far. If I missed anybody, I apologize. Um, yeah. And and I did, uh, Mo. I did want to uh, wait until she comes back. I'm back. I'm she, back, went, back. She, <laughs> she was going to get some tape, I'm but I did want to take a minute um, and just thank Jen. Uh, Jen, <laughs> thank you so much. Um, I think Jen and Mo have probably more realized how excited I am about this than anybody. <laughs> I'm making videos and I'm just excited. I'm yeah. like, this is awesome. Because it's like, there's certain people like we can ask to come on the show. And, and it's not that, you know, we care about everybody, but it's it, for some people when they say yes, it's like, oh, okay, they actually said yes. Yeah. <laughs> Now what do we do? Okay, what's the next step? Do we send them a gift bag? Like, what do we do? <laughs> Muffins. Muffin, muffin basket. Go, yeah. yes. Hey, anything with food, I'll take it. I'll take it. Send so me those I, muffins. <laughs> it's probably been asked in other shows, but sometimes it all blends in together. Do you have animals, Jen? Yes, I have two. And those are those are my kiddos. Those are the only kids that I have. Two dogs. Oh, okay. What well, um what oh, kind of you dogs? and Mo would have things in common. <laughs> Just recently, but yeah. Yeah. I've become now, a dog person. Now Mo, Mo's an official dog person. Yeah. Um, I have an English bulldog. His name oh. is Max. Ooh. And he's he's gonna be nine years old next oh, month. But okay. he's a champ though. He still okay. looks like he's you know four years old. Uh, and then I have a German shepherd who is two years old. So a little bit of an age gap, but and then they're completely different styles of dogs. I was about yeah. to say. <laughs> but they are like the perfect just pair. They get along so good. They play really well. Um, so yeah, my English bulldog is he's short and just stout. So he's, yeah. uh, he weighs 60 pounds. And then my German Shepherd, you know, is big. He weighs like 90 something pounds. So they're they're both big boys. <laughs> They nice. say that they, my mother's friend had an English bulldog, and I've heard that you actually should have another dog with them to keep them active. Because if not, they'll be a little lazy. That's exactly why I got the German Shepherd. Because my English bulldog, you know, he was getting a little bit older, and he was getting a little bit lazy. So I just wanted to like revitalize his youth. <laughs> And uh, it worked. I think it worked beautifully. Yeah, it just, it, it helps. And then, you know, they're not as, as spoiled. They remember that they're dogs, I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> How's Marshmallow been? She's good. She uh, super attached to my wife. My wife is her everything. Okay. She, yeah. uh, so they said that she has like uh, separation anxiety. Really? So, yeah. So, like, literally, my wife went to. She took the kids just out yesterday for like two, three hours, and the entire time she's whining. She doesn't bark, um, and she just whines and whines. She runs from here to the back door, back to here to the back door to the side, back here, back to the back, <laughs> all the entire time. So, and then I took her for a walk before they got back yesterday, and she went about. I don't know, 100 yards and then just sat down. And then she was okay. looking back the whole way. <laughs> she was over it. She's like, no, you're not the person I want to hang out with. So oh. She's getting better slowly. <laughs> She's getting better slowly. 
Well, I mean, she'll just get used to it. But I think they fa- they always favored to one over the other for a little yeah. while. My dad's dog is like that. He, she is the biggest. My dad spoiled her, and she is just like same thing. My dad goes to the bathroom. The dog has to go to the bathroom. The father, disgusting. Wow. <laughs> it's disgusting. Wow. Yeah, that's that's like definite separation anxiety right there. Yes. 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 Big time. So is there so so Mo? From what I can assume, a little bit that you have a little bit of anxieties here and there. Does, does your wife have a little bit like of anxieties where she gets a little no? Because I no. was thinking that maybe they feed off of it might be me. Like, it might be me. Sorry, go ahead. go ahead. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Well, I was just saying, like my my stepmom's the same way. Her her dog follows her everywhere but she's she's got a lot of anxieties and a little bit like of depression and stuff Mm -hmm. and so her dog is very very anxious and nervous and stuff all the time but my dad my dad is just hyper and the complete opposite and he's got his own personal dog and he's just like him so i was like well maybe they kind of mimic a little bit of the could be no that makes that makes a lot of sense actually the thing about my wife is she's always she's more of the alpha so she's she's like really like go at it do it she's like the first one to like jump into anything so i think that's what she sees that's what we we mentioned it to the vet and they said it's probably the more of the not aggressive but active person okay so that they can sense that so it's kind of yeah. like they call it the pack leader or something like that she's like yeah. holy towel and yeah second she saw her, she went grabbed her picked her up like but she wasn't even ours yet so oh so, so i think that's that's a big difference there yeah Nobody did that for me. They didn't come walk up and grab me. They were all excited. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> they were like, oh, we got another one of those things? Oh, what do we do with this one? Oh gosh, get out of here. So you don't have any you don't have any pets at all, Leroy? I uh, I got a um a 46-year-old dog named Leroy. <laughs> <laughs> sounds, like, no. sounds like a cool dog. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Um, I've had family dogs. Um, we've had, um, you know, family dogs and cats and birds and snakes and iguanas. So we, we wow. my family growing up, I've had it all. Um, right now, at home, I have no animals. But um, I actually have um, two, I guess you'd call them like resident dogs. So yeah. there is a dog here at the warehouse. There's a dog here at the warehouse, and his name is Atlas, and he is the coolest dog I've ever met in my life. Like he, he overtops my family dogs. Um, he is the, like he's my best buddy. Like, and then there's another dog here I don't see as much. His name is and uh, Atlas is a brown lab, chuckle lab. Okay. And then there's Colonel, which is my favorite favorite type of dog, which is a German, which is a a, a, a great Dane. And he's about as high as my computer. And, oh, that's um, cool. That's a perfect yeah. name for a great Dane, by the way. Yeah, yeah. and Perl. he is he's starting to know me like because his mom is like this little lady. His father's big, but his mom's like this little lady. She has to let him go when he sees me because he will pull her through the parking lot. So, <laughs> and it's so like he he's starting to know my vehicles, so he'll he'll know. So I have to like hide sometimes. <laughs> So did you name them, or do they actually belong to somebody? And they just there's somebody them? else's dog. They're, like I said, they're resident dogs. So okay, they're someone okay. else's dogs, but I just became the, uh, you know, attached to them. Okay. I don't have to feed them or bring them to the vet, or I do bring Atlas out to the bathroom probably three or four times a week. What's going on, Susie? What's going on, um, Greg? How are you, sir? Hello. I, hello. I see Philly Pickup back in the house, and this other name I never pronounce it right. Um, Aqua Girl, is it? Yeah, that's Annette. Oh, Annette? Annette. Okay, hi, Annette. What's going on? <laughs> I see you all the time, but I'm bad with this stuff. <laughs> and I always jump over a ball because I always want to try to learn. Like, this is one of my processes of YouTube is to be better with being able to pronounce names and stuff. So I'll jump up, I'll jump over Mo and say even if I can't, I just try. Yeah. And Mo, you I think you have a question by Susie. Oh, uh, actually, no, I just responded. Basically, she said that don't um, 
I guess jump into like praise or reassure the dog like that second you see them. I think that's what she was saying, which is I, I read about that last week too. So that's a mistake. Um, but my wife pointed that out. So she's like, give it a few seconds, let her bark, let her jump up and down, and then after a minute or two, then just so treat it like it's a normal thing. Otherwise, it's like every single time that's gonna happen. So. It's only been six weeks, though, so I guess it's early days. And, Jen, you're in Texas. Are you in the middle? I mean, don't say the, the city, but are you in the middle on the bottom? Because well, I'm not from there, so I don't really. Are you, like, towards the bottom? Are you in the middle? Or are you towards the top? I'm, I'm like, central central south. Do, so do you, I'm are you trying to guess Houston. where I'm at? Or? I'm not, no, I'm not trying to guess. I just, you know, I don't like to get too far into people's personal stuff. Oh, so, I don't, it's okay. I, I live in San Antonio. <laughs> no, how far is that from Houston? Uh, it's That's about, pretty far. No, it's not that. It's about three hours. Three depends hours. On okay. how you drive, if you take the toll roads or not. But th three hours is like a solid... Because uh, I've been to Houston. Thing. I've been to Houston. I don't, I don't, I don't like... There's not a lot that I like about Houston. I don't like the highways in Houston, yeah. I'll tell you that much. It's I've just, never in my life, yeah. I'm sorry to cut you off. No, I've no. never in my life, I've been in border ways on this side of the Mississippi River, okay? And we don't have five lane highways, six lane highways, seven lane highways. I'd be afraid where Mo lives. Forget about Houston. I went to Houston. And don't go to LA then. The, the exits, the exits, the exit ramps were like three lanes. The exit yeah. ramps are always at least two lanes. They, I mean, they have to be. They have to. to no, be they don't first. have to be. <laughs> For it's as many confusing. people that are in Houston. Wait, I oh. prefer more lanes than an exit lane. Because sometimes if it's crazy traffic, you have one lane, you're going straight on the heavy traffic. If you have two lanes, you can kind of maneuver a bit. No, I like that one lane. One lane little road. When people get mad at me, I pull over. I let oh, them I hate get by. it. I need to get around, or someone. <laughs> I don't mind if someone goes around me. If they think I'm, I'm going to do the same thing to them. You don't like me. You wouldn't like me. I am that horrible driver. That just so are, like, are both of you are y'all considered a faster, or slower drivers, like more conservative or a little bit more. Uh, Depends I'm who you the ask. Worst driver in the world. The, uh, I, a lot of people say I drive slowly. Uh, it's yeah, funny. Me too. My, my wife and my sister both say I drive slowly. But then when you see my sister drive, holy mackerel, I'm nervous to get in the car with her. Because <laughs> it's like, like every time it's like, I'm like, okay, do you know how to use the brake and the, the gas pedal efficiently? Because it's like you're, you're hitting it hard. And like, okay, this is a freeway. You're not supposed to be stopping like this. So no, uh, I think I drive in, the, in between. Okay. So I'm a slow driver, but, um, my and, and, and knock on wood, praise to God. But my driving record is very good, so I don't care what anybody else says. Yeah, I'm cautious um, too. Yeah, I, I'm just very cautious at the end of the day. You know, my my driving test when I first went and took my driving test, I got a perfect score on the written part. I I did the driving beautifully. I did the parallel parking one try. I, it was great. So afterwards, we finished, and my instructor says, "Wow, well, you you did great, but you failed." <laughs> you too fast. Why did Why did I fail? She said because you were speeding in a school zone, and that's, oh, that's no. not only illegal, that's an immediate. <laughs> so you weren't you weren't speeding. You were going like thirty in a school zone. Most yeah, likely. I mean, it, okay. yeah, it was a twenty mile per hour school zone, and I I didn't I didn't even uh. realize. I'm like, when were we in a school zone? And mm -hmm. she took me back around, and she was like, "See, right?" I said, "Oh, okay." I was like, "Dang it, that sucks." <laughs> But I, I've I, never I, sped in a school zone. <laughs> oh, man. That yes, that. Paul. Wait, what did he say? No, Paul, uh, Paul said Leroy's used to the two-lane highways in Connecticut. Yeah. It's I don't cool. like two-lane highways. That's England. Everything's two lanes or one lane. It's little, Actually, it's funny. In, in the UK, it's like what you would call here like a regular road. Over there, it's like a, they'll call it a highway. It'll be like one lane either way. And sometimes the streets, people park on the sidewalks. Maybe it's like that in bigger cities too. So you can actually, you're like driving like this, kind of maneuvering around the parked cars to get down. I've never driven there, but I just remember it when I was a kid. But 
Three gen hey, Julian, hustle. How's it going, man? <laughs> What's up, Julian? How are you, sir? Double Julian action today. Yeah. We've been yeah. getting that a lot. They they yeah. both come in every once in a while. Um, both good guys. Yeah, birds. I actually like. Yeah, yeah, we got some pets. I yes. hear birds. Yes, yes, we that's have it. some pets. Nice. No, that, that's soothing. It's no, that's like you nice. bring. Yeah. What you never been to Treasure Island Hotel in Vegas? It's like walking through the. I think it's Treasure Island in Vegas. It's all they, bird sounds. They like birds here. So, yeah, it is um, Treasure Island. They have like the palm trees. Is and it? They have yeah. a like, yeah, yeah, Senior yeah. Frog restaurant, or they had. I don't know. Oh yeah. I, I think. Well, hopefully, they still still have it. Yeah, hopefully. I don't know. I mean, the Vegas seems out of anywhere so far that it is a, uh, it's literally a back to normal, not even like a new normal or anything. It's just, that's what it appears. It appears that it's back to just normal. Is that how it feels where you live? Is that how it feels where you live? Um, no, no. no so it's not normal yet here either. Yeah, we, I mean, we're open at full capacity. And technically, there's no more like mask mandates, but all of like the large corporations, because there's still mandates in other states, mm -hmm. they're still requiring masks. However, I've noticed more and more people not wearing a mask and nobody nobody's enforcing it. Um, so it's kind of getting back there, but you still see for the most part, people wearing masks and all the businesses have the signs on there, must be wearing a mask, mask required. Mm -hmm. Um, but it feels it feels normal, I guess, because it's been like that for over a year. But uh, yeah, so not not a hundred percent yet. But I know it's better than Pennsylvania because my my family was saying the other day they're like everything's still closed. It's hard to even like go out to eat somewhere. I think oh, wow. New York still. I think New York too. I know we have a couple of Philly guys in the chat, and um, That's true. they might. Yeah, I know Julian's in Pennsylvania. I know. Um, Paul's in Pennsylvania, so no more masks. Oh, see, Colorado. A, if you look, Sacramento is different from the rest of the Bay Area. Bay Area is different, even it's a hundred, only about a hundred miles away from us, like San Francisco, San Jose, Oakland. They're, I think, pretty much open. Opening up is Topher. Maybe he'll be able to say, but um, over here, from day one, there were a lot of groups and areas that didn't wear masks. I remember the sheriff's department put out a, like a, a, I don't know what it is, a memo like last year saying we're not going to enforce it. Mm. Yeah. That, that was like within the first couple of months. So like it's a mixed bag around here. I, I know, um, I know that you guys all know that my favorite thing is uh, Pokemon cards and baseball cards. <laughs> so I see some cards getting packed up in the background there, Miss Jen. What's going on? Did you sell anything good? I guess you didn't watch their auction yesterday. No, I didn't. <sighs> That's all it was. It's all cards, hundred percent cards. Yeah. The, so so Derek changed the format of doing the auctions to strictly card auctions. So it's just trading cards. So, and that's been like, I think three weeks now. So that's where I'm packing up. I'm packing up all the cards from the auction last night. And uh, yeah, I had, I had some really, some really good sales, some cool stuff. So right now I'm packaging up. These are going to Canada. It's just a little lot of, of Pokemon cards. These, you know, didn't go for like a whole lot or anything, but this is just a little pack of Pokemon cards. So I'm just putting these in a bag and then I put some cardboard between them and then I stick them in a little padded flat rate. But you, know how she's, you said she just fans them open. If I tried to do that, I'd damage the card. Like I, no, but she's, she's got like, oh, they're, they're just cards. Look. They're protectors, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they have the, they're, they're, they got the top loaders on there. It doesn't matter. <laughs> she's well, still I just like, yesterday, I wore gloves. Like I have my, like, little cotton gloves for the cards that weren't in here and that was difficult for me because i don't usually wear those gloves when yeah. we do the auctions so it was hard on the cards that weren't real slippery like the older cards mm -hmm. so i yeah that that was tricky but with just my regular hands it's okay <laughs> have you ever cracked open a pack or a box and accidentally done something to the edge of a card like and like oh no like i 
grabbed it the wrong way or put a nail through it or something. I, I, something. I have. I've actually dropped, like after I've opened a pack, I've actually dropped the card before. <laughs> I've, I've been lucky, though, that they, it wasn't anything good. Um, I get like I get clumsy sometimes, and I think it's because yeah. I'm excited. Like if it's a new, if it's a new um, style that's coming out or something like that, and I just got really lucky that that there wasn't anything good in the pack because yeah, I think one time too, I even stepped on one of. <laughs> I, I've dropped a tool before, and I just raised the price because now I had character. Because <laughs> <laughs> now it's broken in. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I gotta raise the price on this. This thing has character now. Can like warehouse used. Yeah, so I like it. I think uh, in we're doing it again in two weeks, and um, Anthony is gonna be on there with Ooh. us. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. So that'll be fun because Marcus will be back. So yesterday it was just me, Derek, and Luis, and uh, Marcus will be back, and then Anthony's gonna be on. And Anthony's got Anthony's got a lot of great cards. Like, I mean, I don't even know probably half of his collection but i can just imagine what he's gonna bring so i'm really the only one that brings a lot of like pokemon and i have like some anime and Yu Gi Oh, dragon ball stuff like that but i've picked up so much stuff over the years i have a ton of cards but these are from literally from oh look who it is it's mr derek in the house hey jennifer hey. how are you jennifer his hey. ears were ringing hey jennifer I've got a bunch of beaten up. What do you do with beaten up cards? All right, these Put are them from in a bicycle tire. Uh, they, they probably were in a bicycle tire. This is how old they are. Um, it depends. Like, if they weren't beaten up, would they be valuable? Possibly. I don't really know cards. That's the thing. Yeah, um, if they if they wouldn't really be worth anything in good condition, just throw them away, give them to a kid or something. Yeah. I'm just I'm wondering, because I go through, every now and then, I remember one time my friend looked through them and he grabbed a bunch. He's all, these are good. And then like, he took a bunch. But then uh, I had them dumped on me by somebody. One of my friends was moving and he dumped boxes of cards. And they're everything, football, baseball, basketball. I want to say late 80s to all the crappy ones, basically late 80s to <laughs> early 2000s, which everyone tells me is like the worst. The, the, the 90s cards are, yeah, they're, it's hard to find a lot of value in those. Yeah. So I don't know. I just I don't like throwing away stuff unless I can at least get something out of them. But I one mean, of these days I'll go through them. If you have enough of them, just put them up on like eBay auction or Facebook Marketplace or something, and just make an offer. I don't know. I, sh I should. I remember I went through them one time and I just looked for Jordans and I sold like t I found like ten Jordans. These were beaten up though. I mean they were not in good shape at all. So these are not gradable or anything like that. Yeah. Um, so I sold those and then even some of those I had to lot up because they weren't the greatest. And I think we've just lost Lee right now. <laughs> he loves car talk that much. Yeah, I know. He said, let me excuse myself for a minute. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I mean, I, I would do that. Like personally, cause I'm like you, even stuff like people give to me, I know that it's, there's not much value to it, but it's not trash either. So I'll yeah. always try to make a few dollars off of it versus just donate it. That's I don't me. know if that's yeah. a good if that's a good plan or not, but yeah, that's how I like to do it. And then at worst case scenario, if I can't make anything off of it, then I'll just donate it. Even yeah. then, I, I don't like to throw stuff away because I'm like, well, you never know what somebody else could do with it. <laughs> exactly, my garage is overrun though right now. I need to go through. Mm -hmm. I have so much stuff of mm -hmm. every kind. Oh, you still there? I think I hear something. Come back, Leroy. We'll change the subject. I'll let you talk about the Steelers. <laughs> hey, Chuck. I've seen Chuck in the chat. I sent Leroy a Steelers football card. I don't know if he got it, though. Oh, who was it? Was it, was it Roethlisberger? Who, who, I forget who I sent him. Oh, here I think we it was go. Something, I think it was somebody older than that. For 88 <laughs> to 94, I got a perfect place for you to put them if someone dropped them on you like okay I'll, I'll take a look i have no i i did find some people at first. Who, who was in there some old old baseball some old uh, old brave stuff i found some old pistons he was a pistons fan uh what else was he in here he liked the lakers and the pistons all right we'll stop talking about cards 
No, I actually have something that I've never told you about, and I was thinking about it. And I was like, I, I got to show John. I've never told Paul or any of these baseball card There we gurus. go. Bring it. Okay, it's, we go. From 19, it's from 1992. I actually made it. It's not worth much, but I might sell it, but we'll see because it's not. there's no value really in it because um, I sort of defaced the cards, but I made this in 92. <laughs> You sound like one of my old friends. He used to do that kind of thing. Oh, that's cool. I see Skybox. That is cool, yeah. Are those glued on? Close. Yeah, I, I, I shellacked them on, and that's all etched in. Uh, I made this when I was in high school. Nice. My name's on the back. Hold on, I'm going to put you Did you make screen. it like this for, you know, decoration for your own room or something, or did you... Uh... I was in Do shop. I was in shop, okay. and I was in. I was into basketball cards back when they weren't worth anything. That's cool. <laughs> and probably the two best yeah. cards out of that set are probably the ones that are on this plaque right now. <laughs> this is and definitely that. one of the kind. Yeah. That. So I might. I might try to sell it. Um, it doesn't really mean much to me anymore. So we'll see. Um, it's not mu worth much, but we'll see if I get any. Anybody says anything, we'll see. Yeah, just, just put it up in the shop and list it for you know a little bit of a higher number and see what happens. Yeah, just do like handmade vintage. It is vintage. You can tell from the yeah. Skybox cards, even though they're glued on. But yeah, yeah. And and the thing is, I should have, I should have done it when the Last Dance came out or whatever it was called. Um, oh, that's when I put up my Jordan cards. When yeah. the last dance came up, and I got like four I, bucks for him. I don't know if you, I don't know if you've seen my, um, my Instagram mo, but this is today's coffee cup. Let's say rerun. By uh, request. By request. Hey Derek, there you go. Yeah. By request. As long as you requested it. <laughs> I did. I requested it today. Hey I'm Mickey, just, Kent, and Craig, how's it going now? Like I have these. These are some of the little cards that sold. These old school. I don't know. They're called uh, just exhibit cards. Are those I retro or they are actually vintage? No, they're actually vintage. They're 1980. Oh wow! Are those like Bowman? These big ones? Um, I you know they just say exhibit card, Hall of hmm. Fame exhibit card. So I don't know what I have. A Babe Ruth in here is pretty cool. Yeah. If you find an old Hornus Wagner, um, I'll take it off your hands. Hornus isn't that, Wagner. Isn't that the most expensive card? I could be wrong. Maybe it's not anymore. I don't know. I think if you look at Hornus Wagner, it's sold for like millions or something. I don't know. Oh God. Oh, Noel, shit. how are you? Hey, Noel. And um, Kent, how are you, Kent? Hey, hi, Noel. Good morning. Good morning, Noel. And uh, Lynn Shock Picker, what's going on? Tommy is in the house. See, he, he even has a number, too. 206 Honus Wagner. Sorry, Honus Wagner, not Hornus. Honus Wagner. See, tobacco card. Is anyone in here chew tobacco? Disgusting. Hey, I, have some, I have some tobacco cards, though, that I, I need to list. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I remember. Know. Go ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. I just no, don't know I, much about them, so I'm having to research. I'm having to do more research on them. Do you like that? You like the research, or um, a little bit of it. Like when it's history stuff, when it's a little bit of older items, I do, but only for a certain period of time. I've noticed that if I try to spend like two hours, then by the time I start listing it, I'm I'm a little bored, so I got to do something else. So I yeah. just got to do it in batches. I'll do the research, and then I'll just change it up to like clothing or shoes, and then I'll then I'll list the, the items. I'm the same way. Uh, if yeah. After a few, I'll be like, ah, this isn't fun anymore. Yeah. So anyone know why it's valuable? I'm sure Tommy does. I'm guessing it's because there weren't many of them made. Or that's usually why it is, right? Like yeah. Things are not, yeah. It's like when they came out, they weren't popular, like the, the style or the card or something wasn't popular. So they stopped mm -hmm. making them or they didn't make as many. So then after that, it resurges and it's like, oh, now it's now it's popular because there's not very many. They're rare. Military cards. I have a set of 
uh, Desert Storm cards, I think. I used to have a set of those. 1990 again. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I so, Noel, you guys probably saw, Noel sent me boxes, like a tw literally a 22 pound box of cards. And I've gone through the, the small bags. There was a couple bags and one of the big boxes so far. And uh, I left a box with my dad for him to go through because he started going through them. I went over there Friday. Um, and in in one of those bags, there was, which I have them somewhere, I think, there was uh, some, oh, here they are, actually, like the Desert Storm cards. I can take them out, but. So yeah, no, no, I think it's the same ones I have. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole stack of them, yeah. which I don't know if there's more throughout the other boxes. I still have to go through them, but these are just pretty cool to look at. What was his name? Coleman Powell? Was that his Col name? Colin Powell, I think. Colin Powell. Yeah. yeah. He's in one of them. I remember back in the day. Yeah, that's it. It's Bush one is in there, I think. And like, um, I forget the name. There's another colonel in there. I forget his name. But yeah. Yeah, I these are cool. They're, I don't think they have much value, but I know. They they've been sitting forever. I thought, oh, what yeah. I got, I got it for like a buck. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, he's got some hair. <laughs> Is that Dick Cheney? Yes. Yeah. Everybody's <laughs> favorite guy. Oh, here he is. Here he is. It's like I knew. Oh, I there you it. go. Yeah. Looks looks dapper. Yeah. <laughs> but the, yeah, so these were fun. Like stuff like this is just fun to go through. I I mean, whether there's much value or not, it's just I I would keep them because I like to look at them. I can I can just remember their faces, so that's why I thought it was kind of. There's cool. like no. these uh, puzzle cards or something too. Yeah. Let me yeah. let me show you one. Oh, there you go. Yeah. But it's like if you get all of them, see on the back, they have yeah, yeah the puzzles, yeah. yep, yeah, to make a flag or something. Yeah, I think yeah. it was Schwarzkopf. Is it Schwarzkopf? I think so. Something like that. Now, 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 um, Jim, do you do you um, do you go Google over Cabbage Patch at all? Um, I like Garbage Pail Kids. Garbage Pail yeah, Kids. Yeah, that's I, what I mean. Yeah. Yes, I, I do. Up you know, vintage cabbage patch, or yes, I would. I meant, I meant garbage pill cards. Yeah, yeah. NFTs too. Have you, have, I don't know if you guys are in it. Is Tim in the house? I don't know. But no, um, yeah. I I didn't get into it, but I saw some people that got oh, into maybe. NFTs for garbage pill kids, and they're worth in like less than a year. They're worth a lot. I'm I'm never the first to jump on anything, so I'm always like ten years down the road. So, but yeah, I, I have my original ones, my original garbage pill kids. Oh, nice. Man, yeah, if you have some of those original ones, especially if you have a complete or near complete set, I mean, that, those are those are worth a lot of money. Mine are beaten up, though. And then the UK ones are big. If you ever get them, then the – wait, I always mix it up. I think the U.S. ones are normal size, but the UK ones are like Bowman baseball cards. They're, like, bigger. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, NFTs, I don't have the, uh, the, the mental brain power and time – to put into really like learning <laughs> those and dealing with it right now. But I watch, I watch a few people like to hear them talk about it and to get some of the lingo, but that's about all I can handle right now. So. Yeah. It, I, I'm, I'm kind of in the same place. I, I was watching somebody, who was it? I forget who show was somebody, he had like a huge channel. He's talking about how the most expensive NFT sold recently was like a picture of a Jeep. Or something like that. Of a, of a jeep, like a vehicle jeep. That was a sheep lady or sheep, and it looks like oh, it's little pics, sheep. and that's it. No, a sheep, like a baba sheep. Oh, okay. <laughs> like the animal. <laughs> like so, I'm like okay, and there's another one of a cat lady. Oh wow. Yeah, like the animal. I'm like, okay, I don't get it, and it's like little pics lady. It looks like I don't even know what kind of. Uh, yeah, uh, but they go for a lot, supposedly, if you know which ones to get. I don't know. How did it sound? <laughs> yeah, that's it's over my head. <laughs> bah. It's my son always runs up to me. When I ask him something, he just acts like a sheep. I'm like, okay, what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> it means he loves you. No, it means tell me to go away. <laughs> I had to, uh, I had to, uh, I had to give my daughter's friend 
uh, some crap yesterday because he ticked me off. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Is that is that regarding like your your story? Um, your Instagram story or no? It's just that's just no no that was incident. okay. That was something that I went off. I don't know what that where that came from. Yeah, uh, I'm listening. I'm grabbing a bag though. I'm listening. Yeah. Um. No, because my daughter's not doing well in school, and he thought it was funny to um to tell me that she wasn't doing good because I have no control over her schooling because her mother doesn't really whatever um it's a soft subject yeah but it's a subject where i have to be careful because i can lose being able to see my daughter and it stinks but there's nothing i can do about it so um her schooling is very bad and then her friend thought it was funny to tell me that she was failing and i didn't want to know if she was failing or not so i had to call back and uh Tell him, you know, that's that's not cool. He was you know, just trying to get you like fired up. He was like, trying to just to tease instigate? her. He was trying to tease her, but didn't know how serious it was to me. He's oh. only thirteen, but it's okay. still to me. I had to tell. I didn't yell at him, but I just had to tell him and put him in his place and be like, "Yo, you you can't do that. Like that's not cool." Yeah. So it sucked. But now that other story really bothered me um if you see my instagram you'd see yeah i was at a qt mart and there was like this little kid standing there a couple of them and they had their bicycles they're about my daughter's age about 13 and you could they were there begging for change and it just totally yeah it, it wasn't it wasn't against anyone or anything that's going through that day which was yesterday it wasn't against any of that. It had nothing to do with anybody's stories or anybody that I was messaging or anything. It was just something that came up in a whim where I went to go get something from the store and I seen this and it just totally just hit a fuse. Yeah. You know, because I remember when I was that age, I used to hustle. Like I'd go cut grass and I'd go sweep parking lots. And, you know, I literally would go to like regular stores. Uh, come, we have a uh, Cumberland Farms up in that area when we were growing up. It's still around, and um, I would like be friendly with the managers, and they would pay me to put the newspapers together. They would pay me to clean the parking lot, like pretty much almost out of their own pocket, because they knew the manager or whatever was coming, and they just don't have enough time. Yeah. So I always hustled, and to see kids that. No better to do that at 13. Just, it just eats me up. So I'm done. Yeah. yeah it's hard to see either, either way, you know, whether it's uh, for a good reason or not. Yeah. It's so hard. We have a lot of in like in kind of my area, I guess in San Antonio in general, there is a lot of parents who put their kids to work. And I'm talking about like middle school, you know, middle school, sometimes even elementary. And they send them with candy bars or baked goods mm -hmm. and they make them go inside like at a mall strip and they'll go inside every business and ask, say, can, you know, support my family and this and that. And they're just waiting in the car. And that that kind of ticks me off because mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, you know, they're just using the fact that they're kids, but they're kids. The, the whole, you know, let, feel bad for them, the whole adorableness. And I'm like, you're just using your kids to like, you know, at so that gets me mad, but it, it happens. So I yeah. I see a question from um, let me I'm going to try to read this, guys. Don't don't uh, give me a hard time. Jersey Gypsy Corner Store said. I picked up two vintage tools at a town-wide town -wide over over weekend, a ratchet screwdriver, and some other things. I forgot all specifics, but I'll update when I remember. Oh, thank you. And thank you for guys letting me read that. My reading is not the best, but I'm learning, like I said. No, I don't feel bad, man. Go, you can go read all of the chat, Leroy. No, I don't want to. 
<laughs> no, Jen. Jen, <laughs> your time is up. <laughs> but I didn't. But I didn't say anything bad about the Steelers. Isn't that part of our negotiation? No, we're good, Jen. You can say whatever you. Wait, want. what is this? Not about. Wait, we're not allowed to say anything bad about the Steelers. <laughs> uh, Jen and I's friendship started off when she. So we didn't have this agreement. Them. Maybe you guys have that agreement. We don't have this agreement. <laughs> it, but it's not. It's not a disagreement about. I'm gonna. Ver, I'm gonna clarify this right now. It's not a disagreement about the Steelers because everybody has their own um, team or opinion. My biggest thing is being raised in New England. All the I've always been a Steelers fan. Being raised in I don't know how you did that in New England. In, being raised in Rhode Island, um, I was 30 minutes away from Foxborough Stadium, which is Gillette Stadium. Yes, wow. Um, and <laughs> I've always <laughs> been a Steelers fan. I feel like most stressing out. <laughs> I don't know how you did it. I would have been like, uh, no. So, so but anyway. Continue, Leroy. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you. Um, when it comes to the whole Ben Rosenberg thing, a lot of people, you know, complain about saying that he had did some bad sexual things, which there's a lot of people that do this stuff. Um, he was never charged. I wasn't on his jury. I wasn't at the courts, but I do defend him because I didn't, I've never seen where it was as bad as people say that it was. So I get a little defensive when it comes to that. And then when the Patriots owner got in trouble for buying prostitutes and in, in Florida, and, and nobody said nothing. It's all under the rug. He's so calling you now. Man. Guy, but I don't care. <laughs> it's the Jen's car warranty. Jen, did you update your car warranty? No, she's not saying, yet. She's not interested. No, they keep calling. I'm overdue. We oh, I actually out. have to get my registration. I forgot my registration expires next month. We have Ella in the house. She is another one of those. I'm everywhere YouTubers now. We have Hello. Topher in the house. What is going on, Topher? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Did you read his comment? <laughs> That's a nice uh, underhanded insult. Not insult, but yeah. <sighs> <laughs> hey, Don't get me in trouble. <laughs> Oh my goodness, here we go. <laughs> Topher, you went and did it. I'm gonna blame this one on you. Hey, if you were in New England in the eighties, the Patriots kept going to the Super Bowl and losing, and you guys had what four rings from the seventies at that point, not too yeah. far off. So it yep. wouldn't have been that hard. Yep. So I mean And I think honestly, I think the Steelers got their last Super Bowls before the Patriots actually the start of that rate that the yeah, seventy nine. I think. No, the Steelers. The Steelers' last Super Bowl was actually like in the nineties, and I think that's oh, when the Patriots I, started. No, I was I was talking about when you're growing up. The, I, mean, I wasn't talking about Roethlisberger's. Um, but yeah, no. yeah. Not it's bad. it's I a mean, big um. It it could be it's a big like it's like Dante with. With the Tar Heels or with the 49ers, there are some people like me. I'm going to be straight up and tell you do I know five of the players on the team? Probably not. Um, I don't have time for that. That's, mo that's most I, people to watch sports, to be honest. Let's be honest about it. Not everyone is like, I know every single thing about everything. But if you're Tim, Tim knows Tim knows the Waterboy's names on everything. That's different. Not everyone's Tim, though. <laughs> you know, Tim knows Tim knows. Tim knows yeah, he knows like the water boy's name. He knows the coach's dog's name, like <laughs> because he's into. It. <laughs> well, because he's in, he's into it so much with the um the, the fantasy teams and all that stuff. So that's really a big thing. Where me, I like my team. I'll always like my team. But I just Topher, I'm blocking you. But, hey, but uh, speaking of fantasy. I know you never played it, but can we do one like a fantasy league, like a Yahoo free one? We'll get like 10, 12 people together. Uh, football? We'll do football. I don't, have time for that. I don't have time for that. It's, you don't, you just set up your draft and then you're done. That's it. 
You got to have a little oh. time for some a fun outlet, Leroy. It's free, and it's yes, football. You like selling football. stuff at the flea market is fun. All right, I'll ask you again in a month or two. Then I get a pocket money. Then I get well, a pocket we'll, full of money. We'll draft in August. In August sometime. I'm guessing that's when mm -hmm. uh, those leagues start. So this guy's biggest this guy's biggest thing is money. I don't save it, but I love money. <laughs> I think we all do. <laughs> yeah. He's talking about Roethlisberger? Or who, who's that? He's talking about him. About oh. oh, okay. Sorry. Like I can have a bad day if I find out something like happened to my, happened to my eBay, my eBay account, or I, I'm the rest of my day is done. Like money runs me and it sucks. That's yeah. a little, that's a little scary. Paul's putting, Paul's putting his, his uh, fantasy. At Leroy's pick one, then. All right, Paul. Oh, all right, Paul. Two, Paul looks like he's down. Paul's excited. I'm sure. Yeah. We have Tracy here. Hello, Tracy. Good morning. Good morning, Tracy. Morning, Tracy. Another one of the flower. You guys haven't met yet, right? Nope. Jen, you and Tracy never. You guys far from each other? I think. No, a she's bit, in right? Austin. We're only like an hour and a half. And I know Danica oh. is already. She she wants to do a meetup, so maybe we'll have to do one like after the after the rally or something texas is t technically i would say the most perfect place that i mean you're the most central place in the country basically yeah yeah and there's a lot of people in texas too but yeah there is are you going to the rally no i'm not oh okay i didn't think so um but now your shipping is you like you and um you Danica, and tracy is you does your Shipping seem like it's cheaper or a standard, almost like a standard shipping, no matter where you ship because of, like, it would mainly be on first class because if you're shipping priority and it's just a flat rate, then, you know, that doesn't matter. But yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty standard. There's not really, I think, like, the most expensive is, like, if I ship to New York, but... But anywhere, you know, anywhere is probably about an average set price. So New York's worse than like California, or I'm thinking where's further. Yeah, somewhere. California is not too bad. What would a lot like Washington State? Oh, I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't pay attention a lot to where like I ship to and stuff. I just look for the cheapest price. Yeah. But I might have to pay attention to that. Take a look now, because. Yeah, I'd be curious to know. I mean, I know I can pull up. I can just pull up the the price range sheets and stuff like that. But yeah, I don't. I don't really ever care to learn, like how much it costs to what place. I just, as long as I know that I'm shipping the cheapest method using the the least expensive platform, that's all I pay attention to. Yeah, New York for me, anywhere in that. I mean, over in that, over that the Northeast is really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Florida's not quite as close to it, but yeah, New York's the worst. Yeah, I tried to do like my weekend shipping. I always try to do that Sundays just so that I can like roll over into Monday and not be a big deal. But after the auction yesterday, I said, you know what? The heck with it. I was so hungry. We went for four hours yesterday. And I was so it's wrong for a while. I, I checked in after like two or three hours. And I'm like, well, it's still going, going strong there. Yeah, it was it was rolling, and yeah, it was. We still had like a consistent chat, and we started doing like speed rounds where it's just a ninety second or a sixty second timer. So that was fun, I think, for us, and I guess it it allowed us to move through lots faster, so that people were staying. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so we were doing it for four hours. So after that, I, I was hungry. I meant to go eat, but I still had a little time before like the parks and tracks closed. So I decided to go running first and then I came home and then I ate and then I showered. And after that, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do my shipping tomorrow. It's just cards. So it's not going to take me that long. It's not going to be too difficult. And I figured it would be perfect during the during the live. So, yeah, I try and prep after 9 p.m. because that's my cut. I guess that means they would be shipping the following day anyway. Okay. So Sunday at nine, that's when I start doing, I prep. Okay. And then, um, 
and I'll do that. I only have to do that three times a week now because I extended my shipping out to what three business days. Yeah, yeah, you were saying that. I thought about doing that because I I do one business day, and it's never been a big deal to just ship a daily. But I feel like it wouldn't make a big difference if I switch to two business days. Would it hurt my sales? Like I don't I don't know. So I've been thinking about trying it because I've tried the the local the post office pickup. They may or may not pick up <laughs> my packages, so I can't rely on them. So I, they, I they made a mistake in one. I don't know how they did it. It's a scan sheet, but mm -hmm. one of the items didn't get scanned in or didn't get it didn't get there. I don't even understand how that happened. Uh oh, all right, don't no, no worry, Leroy. We'll see you in a bit. Yeah. You're good, Leroy. You're good, man. I, I think that with the post office around me, my regular guy is good, but he gets pulled away. I want to say two to three times a week. He gets pulled on different routes, whatever. So then whenever the fill-in guy is there, it's not that they don't scan, it's that they just don't pick it up. Yeah, okay. Mine's the opposite. My my regular postman, he he's got so much attitude. He hardly ever wants to pick it up. And if it's a big pack he'll, or a big stack, he'll say, I'll come back through when I'm when I'm driving. And then he never comes back. And he might just forget, but I'm like, well, I can't rely on you. So I just go to the post office every day and I ship on Saturdays too. So I'm going to the post office six days a week yeah. and, it's, and it's not far from me. So, I mean, it really is like a three minute drive. So I feel like it's not a big deal, but before I was going also, like I had a routine, I would go to the post office, usually the bank, Starbucks, and then there was a couple thrift stores. But then like, since the pandemic, I, you know, you couldn't really go like the thrift stores were closed or you couldn't drink inside the thrift store. So I wouldn't like go to Starbucks and have a drink, you know? So yeah. I just, now I feel like I might want to change it to two business days just because if I don't have to go every day, then yeah. why? Yeah, yeah. I mean, for me, I did it after Q4 because I didn't want to take a chance of oh, someone yeah. looking, you know, around the holidays, people want it faster. Yeah, that's- I probably funny. did it like in February or thereabouts. So probably in, I don't know, October, I'll change it back to one day. Um, yeah, I still Yeah, I don't want someone to say, look up, because I sell a lot of basic mundane like t-shirts. Yeah. So, so they can just move on to the next person. So. Um, yeah, I might do that. I might try it, I mean, right now and then, or maybe I'll just try it next year. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm curious, like, if most people, do you guys ship daily or do y'all ship every two days or every three days? I don't know. what What's the average? Like, what's the average that resells? I'm guessing most people, well, it, I think it automatic, eBay automatically sets it to three days. I think if you have a brand new account. Um, but I think most people do, like, one or two day, I'm guessing. Um but if you do over three days, then it puts a thing on there saying that there's extended shipping times on this account. It says like in a big bar at the top of your uh, eBay page. Yeah, I really cared. Like at the beginning, I really cared a lot about getting the fast and free shipping label, you know, being the top rated seller, having free shipping, having one day shipping. Like I, I did all the stuff that eBay wants you to do and tries to entice you to do yeah and then i realized like well i don't think it matters all that much i mean it's fine for anybody who wants to do that but it's not as big of a deal once i think you're established i think the main thing is listing and actually the one thing the major if tommy is still there he was the one who got me to get rid of free shipping of all kinds and i didn't see a drop in sales at all <laughs> so I guess they like requested and I'm like negotiating with them or something. Um, otherwise, yeah, <laughs> and I haven't seen a drop. That's true. I guess Topher and, and Tracy, I think I just get, I get used to it though. I don't know. Maybe I'm in there too much. I get, I get adjusted to it. So it doesn't really bother me. <laughs> <laughs> Camera I don't mind wearing the masks though at all, like in the thrift store. Maybe that's why too. Maybe because subconsciously it subdues the smell. I'm used to it right now, to be honest. Maybe yeah. that's bad. I've been spilled what, 
18 months, 15 months, whatever it's been. I kind of yeah. get used to it. So, but actually in all the stores around here, we still have to you see definitely all thrift stores, definitely all the Walmarts and like targets you have to. So it's not even a question. So it's out of my hands still. Yeah. Thrift store actually is the only place where if the, like the employees will tell customers if they come in and they don't have a mask or if they have it pulled mm -hmm. down, they will go up to them and they'll tell them that's the only place that I've had where I've seen it be enforced. And I think that's just the, mm -hmm. the employee's personal preference. I've seen that. Was that a Goodwill? Yeah. Yeah, it's a Goodwill. Because I saw that at a Goodwill. I was at the okay. cash register and then there was somebody at the far register and there was a lady that she was, I don't know if she mentioned to the cash register person, but she was like really looked pissed off <clears throat> and she was going like this. And behind her, there were three other people they didn't have masks on, but one of them was coughing oh, profusely, ooh, like cough, yeah. cough, cough. And then she was pissed. She's like, you know, and then the guy went over there. He looked like he was 18 too. So you have to wear a mask or you're leaving. Wow. But this is a year ago. So, but still, it's the only place I've ever seen them go up to someone. Yeah. Free shipping is fake. <laughs> there we go. I like your new logo, Topher. Part of the best match, depending on where the buyer is, if they are on the other side. Rank very low compared to the same day next year. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. So that means me, it's just probably leaving it at one one business day is better. Most people, I would say, have one business day. I sh here's the thing. I ship uh, pretty much in one business day. I just have it set to three business days. Maybe I should just eliminate shipping on Saturdays because that wouldn't hurt, right? If I don't, no. if I don't, if you, on Saturday, I'd, I'd recommend if you can do it, do one business day for everybody, and then um, you once it hits Friday, you're good till Monday. Okay. Um, because it doesn't count the weekends. Yeah, maybe I'll someone... just do that. Just eliminate shipping on Saturday, and I mean that'll clear up one extra day because I've been doing it for a while. It's not like I I really mind doing it. I just figured, eh, I didn't have to. I'm just lazy. <laughs> Free shipping is fake news. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely always going to wear a mask. Well, out. Oh, with outlets? I don't even go to the outlet near me. It's not the best. Yeah, I don't, ours isn't that great either. I mean, I've been to the one in Austin. And that was like the first time I'd ever been to a Goodwill outlet and it's pretty large and they had a lot of bins and it was pretty not organized, but you know, for the most part, they had shoes in one bin, clothing in one, breakables, things like that. But the one here in San Antonio, first off, it's pretty small and it's just like everything is just thrown. Like you can find shoes, clothing, breakables, books all in one bin. So it makes it a little bit harder, I think. Yeah. But I'm just not, I'm not a huge fan of the Goodwill outlet in general. I don't think I ever really got into it. In the Bay Area, in San Francisco, I think Topher said that they got rid of it. They used to have like a big one there. Oh, okay. And they have a couple other ones. <clears throat> they do it by the pallet though. Like you buy a pallet of shirts or you buy a pallet of shoes or oh. like electronics. How is the liquidation? I bet there is loads out there to be had. <clears throat> I think he, uh, Tommy's asking if the liquidation is good in uh, Texas. I don't know. Well, like, yeah, I don't know. Like, if he's just talking about like the like ooh. local local spots, yeah, I don't. Good morning, don't sunshine. Know. How's it going? Holy oh, Lord, I don't know any local yeah, liquidation spots. Oh my goodness, who's that? Ah, I hate the sound of my own voice. I was, I, was, I had uh, to keep in touch with you guys through my phone. I don't. I had to shut my computer down. I don't know what was going on. So it's all Jen's fault. Like all these people are online. We got like twenty-three people online, and my computer acts up because of Jen. Normally, when Sorry, we have Leroy. four people, it's no big deal. My bad. So I, 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 I chimed in. But I do exactly what you said, Mo. I, I have it set for three days, but okay. I ship out almost every day. Um, probably I ship out 
four days a week. You know, again, not Connick Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, I try to ship out. And then I get a lot of comments saying, oh, fast shipping, this and that. But I do get the I get opposite. Tunnels. That, yeah, that's all mine is. No, but fast I'm pretty shipping. sure that it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt me in the long run if I keep it at three days, I think, because I do get messages saying, I just bought this. Is When is this going to be shipped out? And I get that quite a bit. Okay. So I think once summer is done, I'm going to go back. Um, because Q4, people are definitely looking at those dates. Like, oh, wait, this is coming when? Like, all right, forget yeah. that. Yeah, thinking about it now, too, like most of my positive feedback, is, they're all comments about fast shipping, fast yep. shipping. That's why I keep it at three. Fast shipping. So That's why I keep it at three. Because I okay. feel that if I switched it to one and the post okay. office makes it higher. Yeah. Now you got a question for Jen there. Did you go um, to the one? Okay. No. Are you talking about in, in Austin or San Antonio? I didn't know that there was a new one in San Antonio. So I'm not sure if you mean Austin or San Antonio. Or your new one. Yeah. If there's a new one in San Antonio that I didn't know about, I would definitely go check it out. Anytime there's a new Goodwill or thrift store in general, I I love going to look at those because I know they are going to be nicer. They're going to be set up a little nicer, but yeah, yeah I like in Austin was not by an airport. Now, Jen, where do you source your cards? Well, I just naturally already have a bunch of cards. Yeah, I thought so. I've I've had tons of them. It's easy um, to pick up a lot fast. Yeah, yeah, I have. We'll see, because since I collect so many different cards, like when I buy packs and boxes, all of the extras, like the duplicates or anything that I get, I've always just had those off to the side. So they're not like part of my collection that I'd be okay to like lot off or anything. Um, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> No, so okay. so I just have a bunch of them, but I also do. I mean, yeah, you can find them. I look a lot of the times that I can find the deals like on Mercari, on Facebook Marketplace. Those two are some of the best. <laughs> eBay, if you get lucky during auctions, they have some lots that you can pick up during auctions. Um, but, yeah, that's about it. Oh, last summer, there were a lot of people dumping stuff on eBay. And um, I picked up a lot of stuff. I didn't have to go anywhere. I mean, yeah. I, mean I do a lot of shirts and a lot of vintage like toys and games and action figures people were dumping things left and right i haven't seen it as much this year but um so we'll see though once the summer months get here that's when people um i don't know they like to dump if, stuff if i asked derek he would say you don't go anywhere anyway i'm <laughs> everywhere i'm in the background I'm, i mean I'm from crazy. from what derek says you don't even leave your uh, do you even go to the mailbox you send do you Sometimes. Send, uh, marshmallow? I send marshmallow, but she doesn't listen to me. Marshmallow is the kind of dog you throw the ball, she just looks at you and like, uh, yeah, you're getting that. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> so, no, I go to the mailbox. I only do it once a week, though. Oh, okay, the one in Round Rock. Now, our mailman's pretty good. Any boxes and stuff, they go into our front door. Do you guys have the individual mailboxes or do you have the, the I don't know what you call them, like 20 and one things? Uh, it depends on like if you live in a subdivision or not. Like me, I just have an individual mailbox. So I don't have one of those anymore. I, I miss that. My old house did. Now we got like, like sometimes you have to wait in line. Like, ugh, seriously. So you probably have an HOA, right? We don't, but they have other things that basically is, they uh, what do they call it? It's through the city. There's something for the street. It's not an HOA, but it's something else. They they, they get their way. Oh, okay. Their money back. That's where um, I've noticed around here. It's usually like the the homes that have an HOA and stuff. They no, have. Oh yeah, definitely. And work. anything built in the last thirty years or twenty years, maybe something like that, in yeah. California, they have to. They don't. They don't allow individual mailboxes anymore. Okay. So, which kind of sucks. So, Jen, 
Jen, I know we scheduled you actually for like 45 minutes. So whenever you have to head out, um, please don't feel obligated to stay. We want you to stay. But if you if something comes up and you gotta run, please um, take care of what you gotta take care of. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you know. I'm I'm good right now. I'm still okay. until okay. uh until I get hungry. That's about it. See, I don't know why it just keeps going like dark and light. I, st I stopped. I just now it is everybody guesses what is Leroy drinking and what is he eating because that's all I do. Cheeto, <laughs> Cheetos and Guinness. Today was today was banana bread and coffee. So. Oh, did you see? Did you see Noel's banana bread recipe? Is that why? No, I just sometimes I go to um, Starbucks and I get the banana bread. And Noel put a banana bread recipe on her Instagram, and it was literally just a banana inside of bread. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> like a sandwich. I didn't see that. Didn't see that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm going to don't see my list. So I'm going to be spinning chicken. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> um, um, Chick-fil-A again yet? Chick fil A is expensive, man. McDonald's is much cheaper. I do like Chick fil A, though. I like that lemon drink they got there. I forget what it's called. I like Chick fil A. I just don't. You know, there's some people who kind of obsess over it. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, they're, they're good. But yeah. you can tell when you, if you ever go to somebody's house and open the fridge and they've got like, Six thousand little Chick Fil A <laughs> sauce things. Hey, you know they sell that now, right? Chick Fil A sells their sauce now. Really? Yeah, I seen it at our local grocery store. I saw the Taco Bell the something, but the the beans or whatever they are. Um, so yeah, that makes sense. Cucumber sandwich. Yeah, she has a cucumber sandwich, <laughs> and it's. Literally just a whole cucumber inside of bread. <laughs> I told her she should, she should start a channel, give Tracy a run for her money. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's not nice. No, it's it's. You, you have to see, see the picture. You gotta see the pause. I know. I'm teasing. Cut this one p.m. I hit the post on two. And they reopen. They have a lunch break. That sucks. Mine does too. One of mine does. The big one doesn't. That would irritate me. I'm like, come on now. Yeah, no. Some some of them around here have lunch breaks, but I always avoid those ones because I don't want to pay attention to the time. Oh so, yeah, well, Tofu's got a Chick Fil A opening up near him, so ooh. he's gonna be hooked soon. He, well, he's been and he doesn't like it. So the first time he went, that's why I said that. Because the first time he went, he didn't really care for it. And everybody was like, what are you talking about, Chick-fil-A? So uh, that's what I was asking him if he's tried it again since. Because he didn't like it the first time. Okay, do you, I mean, I don't obsess over Chick-fil-A. But some people, they go between that and uh, Popeye's chicken sandwich. I haven't even had Popeye's chicken sandwich. Um, I just saw the poster and I thought it was funny because they just call it The Sandwich. Like yeah, that that's it. You know, you're done. You don't go anywhere else. But um, I'd be interested to know if anyone likes either of those two. Or maybe you don't like them. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't tried the Popeyes chicken sandwich, but yeah, that was a huge, like a huge battle going on. Yeah, I was like, really? It's a chicken sandwich. I mean, and if they sell that many of them, it's probably not chicken anymore. It's who knows what it is. <laughs> It's at least 51% chicken. Oh, there you go. 51% chicken. <laughs> My Lord, that's... So, Leroy, I know you said money is fun for you, but do you have any other, like, hobbies or anything that you like to do yes. that's, that's not, not involving money? What, yes. what do you like to do? I, I like to um, go to the flea market and make money. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I, I like to buy. I like to buy stuff from the free market. No, um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I might not like. Some people might not like it, but um, 
one of the things I actually enjoy is I actually enjoy going to church on Sunday. Um, so that is something that I like to do. And then, and then I like to have my Guinness. Do they go together? Probably not, but it's okay. That's my problem. <laughs> I was about to say, you're not sitting on like the first row. And they're like, it's all go about ahead. balance. It's all but about no, that, balance. Yeah, that, that's, those are the two things. That, but I work a lot. Like I'm constantly, if I'm not doing reselling, then I'm doing a side project or so. But I, that's what I enjoy to do. I'd rather do that than work for somebody and like I used to. I mean, it'd be great money. I was making 90 grand in the union, but it wasn't fun. Yeah. You know, it's like I never even had time to spend my money. <laughs> yeah, that, that's- You could have given it to me. Yeah, next time you go back and get that job and just give the money to me. You don't have to worry about it. Just send it to you. Yeah. No, just send it. Come on now. So, but no, I mean, I, I like, I used to race for more control cars when I first got here. Um. I like doing that, and I like um, I like target shooting. So I like going to the gun range and shooting. Um, nice. I, like I haven't been to the gun range since they, uh, the the whole ammo. Yeah, uh, I heard about that. Yeah. It, they, when the prices went through the roof, then or yeah, like we yeah. have. A, I don't know if you guys have Academy or not. Like it's a sporting goods store, so like Dick Sporting Goods, but it's Academy here. Mm -hmm. and yeah, we they, have one. They would have, okay they would have a line even now they still have a line almost every morning you know with five six people in it to try to get the first pick of ammo because it's expensive everywhere else and uh, it's sort of they, like the baseball card uh yeah yeah it really is and then you know people are always scared especially especially in texas people always think there's going to be some sort of like crazy zombie apocalypse or you know, they feel like they just need to have overkill amount of all these ARs and all these shotguns and all this ammo. So, so it goes pretty quick here. But I mean, you know, I have I have reserve and stuff, but I just haven't wanted to go and you know shoot off hundred rounds of ammo and yeah. then be like, oh, now I need That's to. That's a hundred bucks. That's a yeah. hundred bucks. Yeah. And I you just looked up Academy. Like yeah, that. not in California. <laughs> no. Okay. But we have Dick Sporting News, yeah. though. There's a shooting range, I want to say about five miles away from me. Not that far out. No problem, Julian. I'm taking you up on that offer because Eric is trying to get me that way, too. So it will be hopefully before the end of the year, I'll be up that way. Over that way. It's actually over that way. Um, Julian and Eric OBX Picker live about six by six hours from me julian have you been fishing lately <laughs> yes <laughs> that's all he's been doing lately <laughs> yeah, he he um he, you said that jokingly <laughs> yeah you've been fishing lately julian more so to get it like what are you catching <laughs> i think he's catching a tan <laughs> nothing wrong with that man yeah. Or catching sparkles in his eyes because he's been with his girlfriend, and that's nice to see. I so yesterday I was in. So you guys know that I do these cleanouts for the estates, and I some of them I have to take everything. So one of them I had like it was tons of paint, old paint, and there was um. There's one container. I never looked at it. It was this raggedy old container. And sometimes the sometimes there's like chemicals and stuff. So I try not to mess with that stuff. So it was, I could tell it was dry. It was an old paper can. And I should have took a picture of it, but I didn't. And it was, I, I was reading it yesterday because the market was a little slow. So I'm reading it and it was, it was shotgun gunpowder powder and it was like it was like probably like four, 40 years old and I was like well I can't do nothing with this I looked it up online nothing came up one of my flea market buddies came over and I showed him he said I'll give you $20 for that right now 
And it was so, a lot more than that. It was probably worth a lot more than that. But I don't want that stuff in my van. Oh, okay, yeah. You, you can't keep that in the heat, I'm guessing. For, I mean, you well, gotta well keep that's that. where he said, he said, oh, he goes, you know, I could see that there's been moisture in it. But he also said, after he purchased it, he also said, oh, he goes, I sift it. He goes, I sift it. And and I can still, I can still um, use it. So, but I, I thought it was cool, but I didn't yeah. know anything about it. But he bought that and he bought, I had a Coca-Cola old, it was a commercial one. It was a old commercial Coca-Cola umbrella with a crank to open it up. And I actually used it for shade yesterday. Man, I had more people ask me, hey, is that for sale? Hey, is that for sale? Hey, is that for sale? And I'm like, you know what? This guy, Kevin, he's he's sort of like rednecky. No offense if anybody doesn't like that word. Um, but he's like really like this big just country bunkin. And Kevin was like, he's the one who bought the gunpowder. He's like, listen, I'll give you seventy dollars for he had a little pile. I was like, okay. I was like, <laughs> he's like, I really like that umbrella. And again, the umbrella I could have made a lot of money on. But I paid like seven dollars for it. It's not a big deal. No. I just sold two, not stuff, just like maybe a couple weeks back, gun slings. I don't even know what they were. It looked like like a leather belt, but they were oh. sealed. They were they were Winchester branded, um, and they were st somebody brought out like you ever go to the thrift stores and they. I know Leroy doesn't go to thrift stores, but. You go to a thrift store and they bring out the new cart. Now this there was a yeah, bucket. Yeah. There was a bucket within the cart, and everything in there must have been for one person because I got mm -hmm. I went to, I took about ninety percent out of it. stuff. And it was all tools. I'm just kidding, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it was all it was all old stuff. It was all yeah curling irons. There you go. It was all old stuff like these gun slings, and then it was like these. Um, it was a post office, like a national post office, like a brass pin. Like, I guess you put the receipts through it. All these old weird things. I had no idea, but it's all from one person I could tell. So I just grabbed a lot for like 30 bucks. But yeah, you never know what you're going to find at the thrift store, right, Leroy? Uh, I don't listen. Stop it. Because, <laughs> because no, because I have good thrift shops. Like, I literally I know chose, you do. This, I chose this area because of my job. I didn't choose this area because Jen lived here. <laughs> I, I chose this area because of my job. Um, there is a Goodwill Bins, a decent sized one, that is 20 minutes from me. There is five of those Amazon bins. About uh, I'm totally going to get me started on that. I wish we had one of those around. There, I don't like them. I, what? I have, I have one that's two miles down the street that I can go to every day. I won't do it. Why? I'm close. I'm closer to the bins than Dante, and Dante lives at that bins. You're frustrating you've been, me now. You've been to them before, and it's just not your cup of tea. It's just or? not my cup of tea. It's just not for me. It's just I rather go to the flea market or to an estate auction and get my stuff that way. Yeah. Um, I never knock on wood. But I don't get in trouble for I don't get banned for selling stuff. I don't get any of, have any of those problems. I'm not saying that Dante does or anything like that. But a lot of that stuff you got to be careful that returns from Amazon and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So That's I just I true. just feel that I I've been doing my sourcing the same way for the last 20 years. So I just like to do it that way. And now that I have this estate sale company that i'm working with um it's i mean i'm only getting nickel and dime stuff but i'm actually like i'm getting decent money from free stuff yeah you can't pass up but deals like that i, I mean i'm i'm give you a, i give you a hard time but yeah i just give you a hard time i just i would because the way i thrift and the way i source i would be all over that though um, it's just not for me. No. Hey, Evan. Sorry, no. Evan. I didn't. Hello. <laughs> now bring me to an auction like the one Tommy, me and Tommy went to. I'll oh, forget about it. If my <laughs> van wasn't, if my, if I didn't think I had to sleep in my van and I had room, forget about it. But I had brought, if I had an empty <laughs> van, like 
I was so jealous. Like, <laughs> I was bringing Tommy's stuff to my van to make it feel like I was buying stuff. Oh, Leroy. So you didn't, you didn't get anything? I spent $40. Okay. I what bought did you get? I bought some train stuff. And I bought um, something else. But again, that auction, you literally could get a truckload of free stuff. Jeez. Like the, the auction is so big, you can get a truck full of free stuff. Like, I got pictures. Where's my phone? Hold on. Where's my phone? I think I showed this before, but I'm going to show it again if it's still here. Um, let's see. There's an auction house around the corner from me, and they have auctions on Mondays and Fridays. Mm -hmm. And I just found them. I didn't even realize they were there. And it's it's by a place that I drive past, too, almost like, I mean, at least every week, once a week. So mm -hmm. I have to try to catch them to go check it out. It looks like a nice, like, it's in a, it's in a good area. It looks like a nice uh, room, auction room. This was... This was my van with Tommy sneakers, <laughs> right? Nice. This, this is a lady filling up her van. This is this guy's van full. Oh my gosh! This is a truck full. Everybody loaded up, huh? Oh yes! I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it's like every I took I was all excited about this. That was hilarious. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, like they were packed. Not yet, Tommy. This week. This week I'm gonna start listing it. Have you listed all those uh, curling irons and flat irons? I listed ten. I listed ten of them. I I would get bored out of my mind if I did it all, so I split it up. Yeah. And I don't want to be that guy that has like all of them on at once. I rather split it up a little bit. So oh. actually almost done. Yeah. Yep, that's here too. You can just open carry. There's not so that, that's coming up this month, I think, in, in South Carolina. I think they're trying to push a thing where you can open carry. But the here's the problem, my thing with I'm not a huge on guns, like I don't know all the gun laws and stuff. But my thing is the places that you need to carry, you really still can't carry. You can't carry in a school, you can't carry in a bank, you can't carry in a church, you can't carry in a hospital. Right. I mean, how many tragedies do you hear in those four places every year? You hear a lot of it. Yeah. So the places that you really need to carry are the ones you can't carry no matter what. Yeah. The only people that really open carry to like grocery stores and stuff, they're just stupid people. <laughs> they're just they're just people who are trying to show off or who I don't know. But up your way, over your way, um, you guys probably have a lot of the old time country people that like you said, they got these like six barrel long yeah. old and the old the old leather holster and they just go to the supermarket like it. They carry around yeah. their, their gun like it's a pocket knife or the car keys. There are actually, yeah, there's a lot of them. You know, there's a lot of them that have, yeah, they just have the holster and they have their gun out. It's holstered, it's clipped. And yeah, they're usually the ones with, you know, wearing Wranglers and cowboy boots. Yeah. Just yeah. The, yeah. It's like jewelry. It's like jewelry. Yeah. 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 It's literally, that's exactly what, you're exactly right. 
It's like you we I wake up in the morning and the couple things I look for is my hat, my car keys, my wallet, and my cell phone. Like these guys, it's not, the not cowboy hat. <laughs> not my what not my shotgun. Not your shotgun. <laughs> no. These guys, it's their hat, their boots, their gun, and their keys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Topher, I'm telling you. There's <laughs> Some of these, some of these people are, uh, yeah. That, that's all they're doing. They're just, they're just idiots trying to, like, I don't know, show off or, or they think just because they can, you know, that it's, they want to do it just because they can. Like, there's no. I point. think that's a lot of it right there. Tracy says heartbeat. she doesn't see it. Good morning, peanut reseller, frugal peanut reseller. What is her name, Jen? Because I think you just said it. Marcy? It's Marcy. Okay. Marcy. Thank you. I won't remember. Don't worry. <laughs> Marcy's a sweet pea. I would say she looks like one, but I don't want nobody coming behind me saying, what do you mean that's a sweet pea? <laughs> you think it's funny? You better stop thinking it's funny. This crap ain't going to happen over here. Okay? Funny is over. <laughs> I'm, I'm just not gonna yeah, say anything. No, no, just don't say. Let me talk. Let me get myself in trouble. <laughs> you go Please. ahead. You, you entertain me. I'm just gonna keep packaging up here. <laughs> There's no funny stuff going on over here. <laughs> it's, it's Jen, Jen, Jen. <laughs> Too many people clip and post on this channel. You're, you're good. You are good. I'm dying laughing over here. Oh, yeah. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> it's not even Jen. I felt I just bad. Keep looking at the door. I just keep looking at the door and make sure nobody's coming in. For me, it's Marshmallow to be the one coming in. It should bark. That'd be about it. Tracy, that's because Austin is like the least Texan city. <laughs> Would you did you say that to um to Noel? I'm not to Noel to Tracy. To Tra yeah, she yeah, said yeah. she doesn't never sees people open carry over there. Um, it's not like I don't see tons of people here, but it's common. Yeah, it is common. Or like in like the the car door, if somebody's getting out, they yeah. open their car door. A lot of people will just carry and keep like you know their nine millimeter or whatever just in the car door. Yeah. But. What is your favorite to shoot, um, Jen? Um, I I like I think because like I kind not I wasn't raised on it, but I grew up shooting and handling glocks yeah and yeah. i've i've acquired um uh because they're heavy they're usually yeah. heavy, yep. so I've heavy, yeah. kind of acquired a a feel for the hold of a glock or just a little bit heavier handgun yeah um so that yeah that's probably my most comfortable because i have i have a lot of family that's uh sapd and stuff like that and that's mm -hmm. kind of like their go-to I like SIGs and I like the um, Smith and Wessons. Yeah. <laughs> Smith and Wessons a good gun. But I I shot a SIG uh, last year and I was like, oh my God, this gun is so nice. <laughs> yeah, I have I have like my which I don't carry it on me unless like if we're doing a little traveling or something. Unless she's going to the thrift shop, guys, okay? Yeah, I know. But I carry a, I have an LCP. That's my carry gun. My like, and I'll I'll conceal it if I would carry it with me. But the yeah, because the LCP is just a nice little. It's a Ruger, and it's just a just a small little easy compatible. But it's not my favorite to sh to shoot necessarily. I think because it's just smaller and it's very lightweight. You don't have to answer this, but um, have you ever gone? to do a private buy where you've carried? Don't answer it if you don't feel comfortable. Just change the subject. No, it's okay. I, in my in my car, I do, but not... Yeah, I just leave not it in on your car. Person. But I you've literally do... brought it in your car to go do a, uh, 
a Facebook purchase or something. Yeah, and I, but I don't do cool. those by myself either. Yeah, so I don't do. Yeah, so I just kind of leave it there and get. Usually, once I see the person or a lot, I think the only times it's been like a couple, so it's like a male and female, which I always feel more comfortable around a couple, you know. Um, and then a couple times there's kids, so I'm like, oh, okay, you know, that's that's fine. But it's just to gauge it. So if it were like a guy by himself and maybe a little intimidating looking or something but i've never been to one by myself anyway so i always take some sort of partner i i sold a couple of things on facebook marketplace and one of the guys messaged me i guess he must have saw my pictures because i i'm a bigger looking guy and he messaged me and said i will be at such and such a place but i just want to let you know i have a right to bear arms Straight up, and I was like, "Okay, <laughs> okay, I know where this is going." So he was just telling me that he carries, yeah, because it was a Facebook buy. There wasn't even much money; it was like sixty bucks. Yeah, yeah, but something small like that, I'm like, you know what? Just if you want to screw me over on forty dollars, that's fine. Yeah. Whatever, it's not, it's not worth it. <laughs> Tommy's <laughs> comment. <laughs> See, a lot of people carry over here usually small guys, overweight, Corvette. Um, <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fat small Four guys. Pounds hey, don't make fun of fast pole. small guys. <laughs> <laughs> Julian says, wow. I'm, I'm fat, small guy, only a four pound trigger pole, LOL. Is it a four pound trigger pull? Like, that's pretty serious. Right? Or explain to me what a four pound. I, I have no yeah. idea what that is. What is a four? Is that the the tension that you need to pull the trigger? Yeah, that's like you. Yeah, a heavy. Well, I, he might mean it different, but I'm taking it as a a heavy trigger finger. Like you're you're gonna just hurry up and and pull like. You're gonna fire quickly. <laughs> well, with his training, but I don't know. I don't know if that's what he. No, nah, I think he's joking around. But yeah, yeah, yeah that'd probably be me. I'd probably fall first, though. So. <laughs> We're meeting at the PD. <laughs> oh no, I don't know if, if you walk in open carry to PD, you could be in trouble there. Uh, you won't walk out most likely yeah in the parking lot i've done that before like oh in the parking lot though. Yeah, yeah 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 just uh, one. Topher, when somebody says to you they carry and do you think that they like they have like a blunt or do you think they have a gun <laughs> <laughs> they're always picking on Topher. i said <laughs> how do you how, why do you say Topher's always why do you think Topher's always high I don't even know if he smokes, but some of the chats are so funny. They pick up. I'm not going to say who it is. <laughs> Topher, Topher is always, he, he's, he comes on looking like he's always in a good mood. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yeah, all I'm nothing saying. wrong with that. <laughs> no. Nope. Hold on one second. Go for it. Go Mo, do you do local local meetups like for uh, sales or purchases? I didn't do many of them last year, to be honest. I used to do a lot of them. I, actually, I used to do more for sourcing. Really? I, yeah, yeah. I used to try and, um, I mean, I'd scour. I usually, I have to go out a ways into the boonies, into the rural areas. Because uh, people like to dump stuff, and I like to buy in bulk if I can. Me too. So, um, Unless it's something, it's, there is an exception. Sometimes it's bigger, heavier stuff. Mm -hmm. um, it's like I used to buy a lot of video games. Problem is in the Bay Area, Topher knows this, it's competitive. So I kind of stopped doing that. It's super competitive. Really? Yeah. I mean, well, there's- the, uh, the stuff that Topher picks up, the deals he makes, I, I wouldn't guess that it's super competitive. No, he's, oh, I, I can tell he's doing his homework. 
because you yes. have to be there fast and you have to know the pricing and pull the trigger because somebody else will be right behind you, especially yeah. where he is in San Francisco. My goodness, I wouldn't want to. He probably has to pay up too um, because some of those, it's not cheap to live in San Francisco. But uh, yeah, no, I like, I like, uh, my best deals have come local, random. And then half the time, it's not even what they're selling. Like you say, oh, do you have any of these? Oh, you're selling shirts. Do you have anything else? Do you have any video games? Oh, do you have okay. any I get you know, you. sporting equipment? But, um, I saw that on a, somebody was doing that. Actually, probably a couple people, garage sales, just ask people, oh, do you have any, you know, is that all you got? You got anything else? And that's usually how you find stuff because people kind of assume that most people don't want that. They want this. They don't want that. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, I didn't know that, Julian. I don't know if it was like that. That's what the actual trigger pull weight is. So he's saying, so <laughs> let me go back and read his earlier comment. He's a <laughs> fat, small guy with girl hands, with, little, with, little, with small girl hands. <laughs> okay. That's funny. <laughs> Again, Jen, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we hope that we can have you on again soon um, when you have time. But um, ah, I just fell. Did you fall? <laughs> no, I my my feet are so big that if I put my feet up on the balls. They they actually pull push the lever in my chair, so that my lever just drops me. Oh, okay, you didn't fall, fall. Your chair, your chair dropped. No, okay, my chair dropped. But look, okay. I go from here, Mo, to here. <laughs> now, now, see, now you're my height then. Hi everybody, my name is Mo. How you doing? How tall are you, Mo? Five nine. I'm not short. But Leroy keeps calling me short. I'm short. No, it's funny. I remember I used to go to high school. I used to get a ride with two guys. They were both six. One was six four. One was six five. They'd always make fun of me because I'd be in the back seat of the two of them. Like, oh yeah, did you grow yet? Did you grow yet? Did you grow yet? It was oh. like sophomore year of high school. I'm like, no, I was probably like five five then. But who knows? Oh, I still grew a little bit. Yeah, I got a little bit. It's all about the same here. I never ever feel. Need to take a gun, any? Yeah, if you feel the need to take to carry something to pick, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even bother with it. If no one's ever has someone told you that they're carrying, that's what I like, said. Yeah, the, a guy down here in the south. I I went to do a Facebook deal <sighs> at a hotel, and all he said at the end of the message, "I will meet you." Um, he said for you, like uh, FYI. He said FYI, I have a right to bear arms. Okay, that's just weird. Like, if he said something like, um, I hope you know it's okay, I'm caring, that's different. You're like, he's like, he's letting you know, he's kind of giving you a warning. But he didn't, the way he said it would make me unnerved. I'd be like, because uh, I've shown up to a couple places where people are sitting there with, like, and that's fine because they they let you know. But if someone just kind of, I don't know, maybe that's just me, that'd be a little unnerving. Well, it's like the people that walk around, yeah, the grocery stores and stuff, and they're not concealed. All that's going to do is make nervous people more nervous. And what do they Rare. do? They act stupid. They get scared. Yeah. They so you never know. Like it's to me, it just causes a, a potential chaos. To... So that's not the guy you take the stuff out of his cot. Like you just no. go up to him, just start taking stuff out of his cot. Yeah. No. This. Yeah. I mean, if you want trouble, go ahead. But. <laughs> He'd probably be a big chicken, though. He wouldn't even know he had his gun. Like, yeah, I should mostly. try it for a YouTube channel. Maybe see how I do. Yeah. No, I don't. I know plenty of people that I didn't even know they carried until they just they let me know afterwards. Oh yeah, I, and it, did they say it real casually and they don't like make a big deal about it? Yeah. That's. I think that's the way it should be done. I mean. Yeah. 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 But I don't know. Or like Julian, he's shooting gators out there on the on the lake. <laughs> That's a different story. Go ahead. Carry two or three. <laughs> yeah, for me, it's my the area that I live in or that I go around, it's not necessarily like bad areas. 
it's just you know being a female sometimes mm -hmm. it's just a comfort thing especially because like you know some guys just want to act stupid so uh -huh. i mean it's just it's just a comfort like for me knowing that okay you know it's there that's why i just even leave it in the vehicle because like i'm probably not gonna need it but at least no. it's close enough like it's close by enough that yeah, if i did need it or if something you know crazy did happen it's just yeah it's just a comfort so so i went to a gun shop here and i was looking at uh rounds and the guy goes well this bullet is good for target rounds and this bullet is good for an intruder and i'm saying to myself what does it matter <laughs> Yeah. You want stopping yeah. power for that yeah. intruder. You need it to what, what, boom. If I, if I get a if I get a nine millimeter, if I use the practice round or I use the professional round, you're still getting a slug to the head. Like <laughs> and he's like, oh no, this one's better for an intruder, and this one's better for, for a target practice. And I'm like, it doesn't matter to me. I usually just use cheap ammo for target yeah. practice. Whatever's cheapest. Was that you or me? That's me. It's not me. That's the first time I sold something on live in a long time. There you go. It was Julian buying some ammo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, have, I have a bunch of old ammo that I don't know what to do with it. Because I, I don't want to ship it, but I kind of just like having it. But there's I don't know if there's any point in that. And having it, uh, I also don't know like if it's what the worth would be. So it's probably still worth good money. Yeah, I should well, let me grab it real quick. I have it close by. I'm curious. I'll show you guys. We we have Jen on and we talk about guns. We 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 have Julian on and we talk about golf clubs. <laughs> Yeah, I have, it's not a whole lot, but so high velocity, 22, a long rifle, well, federal lightning. So this is full. Then I have some. 38. Wow. Sorry, I'm using a new camera. Like I'm actually using a. I can see it. Oh, if, if anybody, if anybody in the yeah. chat knows, if anybody in the chat knows um, an easy way and where Jen can make some money getting rid of this stuff, please message her on Instagram. Yeah, let me know because I mean I don't know. Like I said, I'm not sure if it's worth much. Um, but even like that's the the back. It's just cool, and sometimes like just these the boxes are cool. I yeah. have some like little daisy pellets. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I think Julian's going to be your number, number and one. And this, helper. I don't even know what this is. I don't think it really says, but it's just a little clear case. It's got mixed rounds. Mm -hmm. But Yeah, I was, I was wondering the same thing. How would you ship that if you had to? Yeah. I think, I mean, you can definitely go um, range to range. They'll do that. Um, and then... Um, Okay, I just had a heart attack, guys. Uh-oh. Why? I just sold something for $424. All nice. right. A, a good heart that? attack. Man. There you go. <laughs> so what was it? You got to let us know. At least yeah, I needed that, I too. I needed that, It's a nice that, way to too. start off the week. I'll go get it and show you. Uh, Mo, it's one of those products that K that that um machinist stuff remember that that uh, oh okay it's when one you of those workout bar? yeah it's one of those hold on oh, grab it. yeah i think he showed us that like a month or two ago a machinist tool or something like that nice leroy's in the money <laughs> yeah I think FedEx lets you sh ship ammo, if I'm not mistaken, FedEx. 
Thanks. No, well, I actually go to a, a high school and they have like their security guard that's there to make sure everybody's gone by 11. So, I mean, you know, there's some sort of security and the, the high school is pretty safe and it's right across the street from like houses. So I, that's where I go when I go at night. So it's not just in the middle of nowhere, at least. And then I sold the seven dollar socket. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, it's all money. Yeah. That is my phone is going crazy, yep. guys. I do want to show you guys before we leave. Just give me a moment. Yeah. Go for it. Um usually when you get a sale like that, they usually message you after for information. Yeah. And that's what I know it is. Well, usually I'll message them anyway, and I'll say, hey, I saw your sale went through. When it's a big sale like that, um, this is how I'm going to ship it. Do you have any problems? It's going to be signature. I mean, I put it all on my listing, but I always just double check with them. A lot of this stuff that I saw, I'll show you guys now. I wanted to pull it up, Mo. It's, so it's safety bars for like um, for like assembly lines. Yeah, um, I'm to sell Yep. And Mo, I don't know if you can see the model number, so you can try to pull it up. Uh, kind of. You can read it to me. I can type it in. Okay, I'll read it to you. So you got the name, right, Mo? Uh, I didn't, uh, give me that. K K E K E Y E N C E, and the model number is G L dash R three two H dash T. All right, I think I got that. Oh, wow. You could share screen. All right. All right, let's share the screen. Where is it? Okay, there we go. Share screen. Yes, yeah, some of, I don't have the wire. I don't have the wires. Um, Why is it sharing both screens? Because you didn't in the. Yeah, there you go. Is that better? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's not sold though. Those are asking. All right, let's do solds. Yeah. <laughs> that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Nice. I can't even lie to you guys. I wish I could just lie. <laughs> Why? There you go. No, you want me to click cool. on it or no? I don't care. Let's click on this sucker. Just expand the picture at least. There it is. Wow. Let's see if my numbers match up. See if I'm lying, guys. 428, and it says 428, then that's me. Yep. So you that's guys it. can all go eat my candies, okay? <laughs> okay, wait, but I don't. So what exactly is it? So I don't know. Okay. <laughs> no, okay, it, then, right? it, no, no. It is a. It is a. Um, it's like a, a sensor bar for like an assembly line. Okay. So where I live, I don't live far from BMW. So there is a ton of plants that open up that specialize in certain things. Um, it could be just. It could just be um, a centerpiece for the for the um, steering wheel. It could be a spring for the steering wheel, and they'll make thousands of those pieces. Well, all that machinery, the sensors and safety, this is like a safety sensor switch. So if somebody leans over to a certain part of the assembly line, it will stop it. Gotcha. But this name, I, so my neighbor at my warehouse, he used to be like a, a computer geek, and he got a lot of this stuff from his friend. So when he was leaving, he was desperate for money. So I just paid like three grand and I bought everything he had. But one piece I sold for thirty for almost forty five hundred. Um wow. and nice. then like every once in a while I'll sell this stuff. And it's crazy because now that COVID happened, a lot of these companies with these specialized things, they're starting to get behind. When COVID was here, I sold like eight of those pieces like cameras or 
or these bars or a lot of that stuff i sold a lot of it because um nobody could get it yeah so, Man, so that's nice so you're making a killing then on that oh god yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. that's why like i always say like everybody jokes around like i always they think i always do i do 90 percent of my store is tools but i do have knowledge and i pay attention to like everything like i'll go to your house and i'll be looking up inside your house just to have that knowledge in my head i feel that my world is my college so yes my education wasn't the best but my surroundings is my college when it comes to reselling. So I look up, I don't look up as much as a lot of people, but I look up a lot of stuff um, to learn. Yeah. That's smart because you never know what you're going to come across. Yeah. So I'm taking it, but Julian and Tommy, I should not sell it online because I probably <laughs> can't sell it online. Yeah, I don't think you can. And, uh, I think I'm just, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just going to hold on to it. <laughs> I've just been holding on to it for a while because I didn't You think have so a lot of gun enough. shows your way, right? Yeah. I yeah. guarantee you can sell it at a gun show. Yeah, if you I might, with a little I backpack. Like try to make a trade with somebody because I, I don't know, I have a lot of stuff, enough stuff that I could sell at a gun show. No, no, but if you just walk around, like, Thanks, you'd Mom. be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I definitely, if that's the you want to do, I mean, you probably have to be a $400 worth of ammo there. So yeah. you probably could trade it for another piece. Yeah. So I'm thinking, I was like, yeah, I wonder if I, if, if I could take, I mean, because they're all private sellers. They are private sellers, so mm -hmm. they would be allowed to take a trade. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a gun show. And sometimes if you just have pictures of it and just be like, hey, listen, do you take trades? Um, this is what I have. Yeah. Are you interested? You never know. Yeah. Because there's guys at that gu those gun Good shows. Idea. There's guys at those gun shows that specify in, uh, it's not vintage, but in a sense, vintage ammo. Ammo that, that you can't yeah. normally get. Yeah. I've never sold ammo or weapons. I've sold a lot of stuff around them, though. Okay. Like like I said, gun slings. I didn't even know what it yeah. was. It looked like a belt, and it sold for thirty bucks for one, twenty five for another. They were like two ninety nine, and then nice. I sold all kinds of weird things, stickers and decals and bags and who knows what, all that kind of stuff. So guys, we came up on two hours. I want to respect Jen's time and my time because I got no time for you guys now. I got to ship out a four hundred dollar <laughs> item. Sorry, love you. <laughs> Um, so Mo, I'll let you uh, close it out. Wrap it yeah, up. Yeah, we are hopefully gonna. I'll wrap it up. Uh, hopefully, we'll be on. We're gonna ask Jen if she has some more time in the future and have her come back on because this has been very cool. And uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun. And I actually got some listings done for once, which is a good thing. Nice. And we were almost but, on time uh, right? until the next one. Almost. No, we almost. Were, uh, that was my fault. It was my, we were I, fault. I had no sound. <laughs> they were but they, they were both on time, just so you know. And then my mic wasn't working for whatever reason. There's no sound. But that's all good. Maybe next time. But on Wednesday we'll be back on Leroy's channel. And then um, we will see you then. And I appreciate everyone being here. Thank you so much. Uh, everyone in the chat um, for showing some love. Yeah. Jen, Jen you, you want to close it out? No, I'm good. Everybody, <laughs> thanks. All right. Thanks for joining, everybody. Tracy, I just read your message. Yeah, I'll probably just hold on to it for a, while, a little while and look into the, look into the the gun show stuff. But yeah, no, it was fun. I got all my card shipping done, so now I just got to head to the post office. So yeah. Nice, nice. Bye everyone. All right, Bye, take guys. it easy, guys. See ya.